Welcome, this is Lorraine Aguilar, founder of Working Harmony, and this is One Gratitude. Please type your gratitude for the day into the comment box. I'll share mine with you. I'm gonna share a special song in Spanish, and then for our live viewers, I'll scroll through your responses for some shout outs. So oh, I invite you to join me for a deep breath. <sighs> I don't know if your day's been like mine, but sometimes like from the moment we wake up, things can go very quickly. So I'm really grateful for this moment to actually pause and be grateful and to be grateful in community with you. So, so my gratitude, um, when I was waking up this morning, I noticed myself feeling grateful for choice because I'm fortunate enough to have a life where I had the freedom to choose, hmm, I'm still feeling a little sleepy. I think I'm gonna choose to sleep in a little bit today. So I gave myself an extra hour of delicious sleep. But there was something really powerful in that choice as I reflected on that. And it's, it's that word, power, choice is empowering. So for myself and, and those of us, many of you here who practice nonviolent communication, we know that we can practice choice when we get triggered, emotionally triggered by something instead of reacting, we can choose to respond instead. And that requires some mindfulness usually and learning how to take a pause and, and reflect and connect with ourselves. So it reminds me of the Viktor Frankl quote, and I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to quote it, quote it uh, but the Auschwitz survivor Viktor, Viktor Frankl um, uh, described between action and reaction, you know, we are stimulus and response there's this moment and that is that is where our power lies so so that's my gratitude today it's for that beautiful relationship between choice and stepping into our power of that choice for example it's really easy I know in my life to complain about things that I'm not happy with let's say this job right or maybe a relationship that's not what I wanted it to be so instead of saying I'm stuck in this job I'm, I'm doing this work because I have to and I'm doing this thing because I should do it. I love shifting that into choice. It's like, you know what? I might not enjoy this job, but I'm choosing to do it because it's meeting some very important needs right now, such as my ability to provide for my family, you know, or this relationship. You know what? I'm choosing to be in this relationship. I can also choose to be out of it. There's Freeing ourselves from the shoulds is part of the power of choice. So anyway, not to lecture at y'all, but uh, this is the, the power that I appreciated. It's the freedom of choice, but it's the power that comes with it. And with that power is also the responsibility that if I'm not happy with something, I can always choose something different or, or choose to accept it as it is. So. All right, well, that's my gratitude today. What is yours? This um, song that I'm going to play for you is a special request from Edward Valle, our YouTube viewer, who's also very dear to me. He, this song is dedicated from Edward to Mia. Mia, this is your birthday, and this is your Mexican birthday song. Eso son las mañanitas que cantaba de David y las muchachas bonitas te las cantamos aquí. Despierta mi bien, despierta, mira que amaneció y a los
Damia. All right. Welcome, welcome, our live viewers. Oluf Geek Thai Guy, Klaus from the Netherlands, and Happy Ron. Awesome. All three of you practicing nonviolent communication that I'm aware of. So how wonderful. We've got a giraffe party going on here. Okay, the first gratitude that I see is from Klaus. He says, grateful for a thoughtfully written personal note. Mm, isn't that lovely to both either give or receive a personal note? You know, if there's something about, yeah, when someone takes care for just a few words, um, that really sticks with us. It doesn't have to even be elaborate or fancy. Um, I, it, it, I have what I call a forever box. And it's things that if I'm ever feeling down or blue or should I ever lose my memory someday, this is the box that reminds me that I was loved. And it's full of things like that, little personal notes from people just, yeah, expressing gratitude, expressing love. So wonderful class. Thank you for sharing that gratitude. All right, the next one I see is from Oluf, Geek Thai Guy, who says, grateful for a weekly call every Friday with other Agile coach type people and people in faraway places who are offering help in response to my cry. Wow, thank you for that gratitude. You know what hit me about your gratitude when you said, how people even from faraway places are offering help in response to your cry. First of all, I think there's so much power and beauty in being able to put out a cry for help in whatever form. There, there's a beautiful humility to say, you know, I'm part of a community. Could any, does anyone have something that could help? So I think that's a really important skill set because I think we're so um, acculturated to always be giving, 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 right? Um, and so to open our hands to receive um, is a really beautiful thing. And, and Oluf, I know that you give very generously to the international Agile community. So may your generosity also be received in kind with the generosity of others. So, yay, we've got a little note from Klaus saying, thank you for sharing. You're welcome, Klaus, my pleasure. And happy Ron, my fellow musician and NBC practitioner saying, grateful for these morning songs. Uh, thank you, Klaus. I, I know that you appreciate as well the power of music and for us musicians, you know, the ability to vibrate our bodies with beautiful sound and to put that out into the world with love is such, a, I'm almost tearing up just saying that, it's such a powerful experience for us musicians to do what we do. It's how we express ourselves. It's how we show our heart to you. And that's what I'm doing this morning. And thank you for recognizing that. And Ron, I love how you share your heart through your music. For those of you who would like to hear his music, just type Happy Ron, one word, into any search box. And he's got some great heartfelt and very relevant songs that he's written and shared with the world. So those are all the gratitudes that I see. So in closing, whether this is the beginning of your day for those of us here in the Pacific time zone or for like our friend Klaus and others overseas, if this is the end of your day, may this little mindfulness practice help center us, anchor us, and connect us with each other and with the things that really matter in our lives. I think uh, I recently heard that Michelle Obama in um, her podcast um, confess to how a lot of these world events that are going on right now can contribute to sort of a, a low-grade depression for her and for so many of us. Um, and by the way, that's secondhand information that I got. I haven't fact-checked check that. Um, but the, the, the idea that our framework can make such a difference in our worldview, whether we see the world with hope and positive action or with despair and, and just um, inaction. So may this little practice fuel you to, to be the light that shines through, through the dark times. So 
have a wonderful day or evening. Please be kind. Please generously take care of yourselves and each other as we do our part to facilitate humanity rising.